Hello, everyone. Welcome to Top Football Club. My name is Chris, and I'm here to bring you your top stories of the day. So let's go to the EFL Cup or the Carabao Cup, however you want to call it. Manchester City knocked out by the Magpies. The Crows, ladies and gentlemen, have taken out the great Manchester City. The Toon, the team that I'm so proud to follow, have taken out the great Manchester City. Our friend Laurent Cortin must be sad today. So far between him and I, we are 1-1. And the same score actually, except this time we actually eliminated them. So happy for all the Newcastle fans. Let's keep moving, let's keep going. There is nothing accomplished yet. If we want to do something, let's win the cup. Let's do it. Let's get it done. Now let's take a look at Isak's goal in the 52nd minute. As Manchester City saw their quadruple hopes slip away. The Magpies came out in the second half with a decent team, becoming much more forceful and got their reward early on as Joe Linton strode into the box before driving a low cross that Alexander Isak was able to bring it home and St. James's Park erupted. Let's also mention the Liverpool beat Leicester City 3-1. Chelsea also defeated Brighton, finally coming to a win by the minimum, but they still beat a really, really good team in Brighton. On a different note, Arsenal beat Brentford as well by the minimum to get over the hump and continue in this cup. Now, what did you think about Arsenal and Chelsea? Maybe not struggling, but certainly not putting the foot on the opponent's neck, especially given the differences in the types of clubs. Another mention should be Everton, Aston Villa. Everton finally coming back to the win, beating Aston Villa. Maybe not the best team to beat. However, this Everton has been struggling, probably going to fight relegation and still comes up with a win. 2-1 against a nice Aston Villa team. Gennaro Gattuso has been appointed Marcel's manager. Gennaro Gattuso, World Cup winner, managed Napoli, now is officially appointed as manager for the French team. What do you expect? What can we expect from this guy? He is really tough, really temperamental, not really proving himself as a manager, but it's gonna take one of the biggest clubs in France. Can he compete for the French league? Now let's take a look at Dominic Sabasly stunner as the Reds come from behind to win this match. Chelsea's injury crisis shows no sign of letting up after Van Chilwell suffered a hamstring injury during their win over Brighton. Now let's go to Spain as Real Madrid played Las Palmas today and beat them 2-0 with Brahim Diaz at the 47 minute and Joselu at the 53rd scoring a nice goal. Now let's keep things interesting. Let me show you something cool. Now let's take a look at Manchester United's Marcus Rashford as he splashes out on a 180k chauffeur driven van with a 40 inch TV after his Rolls Royce crash. It's incredible. He gets paid around 400,000 a week. What would you do if you had that kind of salary? And I know we already talked about Osman potentially coming to Arsenal. However, Chelsea are also eyeing the Napoli player as he continues to have drama. Apparently he hasn't said anything to his teammates after this whole video debacle. I don't know what they have to do with it. However, everybody in the media has sank their teeth into this issue, making it a racial issue, etc. Blowing it out of proportion. Now let's take a look at this play. Atletico Bilbao star Oyan Sunset was sent off for a horror challenge during Mainz and Greenwood's full Hetafe debut. As we know, the Loney has not started a football match since January 2022, where he was suspended by the Red Devils. Gary Neville, your beloved pundit in the UK, believes that Aaron Ramsdale will want to leave Arsenal as soon as possible. The former Manchester United star has still Aaron Ramsdale to ask to leave Arsenal if he continues to play second fiddle to David Raya. The England international has been Arsenal's number one for the last two seasons and started this term in goal. But has been displaced by Raya in recent weeks, Ramsdale has been praised by Arteta for his response to being dropped and he was seen applauding Raya when he made a stunning save against Tottenham Spurs in the North London Derby on Sunday. But what do you think? What do you think of this situation? Does Ramsdale have an opportunity? Does he need to leave Arsenal? Is this Raya's team now? At the end of the day, Arteta makes the decisions. However, if you are that goalkeeper, what would you do? 
Oh, by the way, breaking news, ladies and gentlemen. If you are a Real Madrid fan, I have a big, big nugget for you. Or if you're a Brighton fan, this might interest you as well. Or if you are a fan of the English Premier League that has been affected by this great Brighton team, this could interest you as well. And it's because Florentino Perez is looking at the Zerbi as a replacement for Carlo Ancelotti. We know that Ancelotti is going to go to Brazil or everything is looking like he will go to the national team of La Canarinha and De Zerbi is looking like could be a replacement for Ancelotti. What do you think? Do you think De Zerbi has earned the spot to be at one of the greatest clubs of all time? Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. That is it for this quick stories video. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Chris. This is Top FC. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. Give us a thumbs up. It helps us a lot to keep growing. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.